Good day, ma'am. I'm Christian Elihino Ortiz, and here's my semi-detailed lesson plan that I will be using for my teaching, actual teaching demonstration with the topic prepositional phrase. Good morning, class. May I request everyone to stand for a prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, before you may take your seat, please kindly arrange your chairs and pick up the litters around you. Very well, you may settle down. Thank you. Class monitor, do we have any absent for today? None? Okay, very well. Very good. You may settle down now. Last meeting, I gave you an assignment, right? I've checked it already and I'm very happy with this course you gave me. And I'll be I'll return your papers later after our discussion. So how are you feeling right now, class? Very well. So today, can somebody recall our last di last discussion? Yes, Miss Crystal. Very well. Add some more. Exactly. So today we will be embarking on a new magical journey. Are you with me, class? Nice. So can I ask you a question? Who among you here is familiar with Harry Potter? Oh, I see so many hands are racing. And I think I can meet a lot of Potterhead in your class. Very well. Actually, he sent us an invitation letter from Hogwarts. Can, can someone read the letter? Yes, Miss Christine? Very well, thank you. Do you accept the challenge, guys? Very well. Okay, any questions regarding the activity? None so far? So you may proceed to your respective houses now. Okay, time is up. What is the mystery code? Oh, I see everybody is raising their hands. Yes, Mr. Chester. Amazing! Prepositional phrase. At first, I know that you can do it, and because of your outstanding performance, Hogwarts has sent us another letter again. Can somebody read it? Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Felix. Very well, thank you. Actually, guys, the mystery code you have discovered has something to do with our lesson for today. But before that, let us first read the lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to. Can I request somebody to read the first objective? Yes, Mr. S yes, Mr. Chester. Thank you. The second one is yes, Miss Garda. Very well. And the last one is Miss Revelin. Thank you. So together, let us meet those objectives. Are you with me? Very well. In the previous lesson, you learned many of the most common prepos many of the most common prepositions. Now let us tackle prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase is a phrase that begins with a very good, a preposition and ends with a noun or a pronoun called object of the preposition. Oops! Hogwarts sent us another challenge again. I need somebody to read the letter. Okay, thank you, Miss Charilene. Very well. Who will go with the example number one? Very good, in the park. Example number two? Exactly, with a big smile. Number three? Yes? Very good, under, under a coat and a sweater. Notice that a prepositional phrase can appear at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of a sentence. The nouns and pronouns of a prepositional phrase have special meaning have special name they are called very good the objects of the preposition the objects of the preposition above are park yes smile very good her coat and sweater very well notice that in the first in the fourth sentence there is a compound object of the preposition under which is the yes sweater and Coat. There are also prepositional phrases that can act as adjective and adverb. Oops, Hogwarts sent us another challenge. Who will volunteer to read the letter? Yes. Very well, thank you. You can see that all three friends has used 
prepositional phrase to order ice cream? Is there any um, is there any ways that these phrases are alike? Yes, Mr. Chester. Very good. Each phrase says, changes or slightly modify the meaning of a noun or a pronoun. These phrases are called? Yes, Miss Regine. Adjectival phrase. Very good. The adjectival phrase is a group of phrase or words with subject-verb combination that modifies noun or a pronoun. Question. Sir, how do we know adjectival phrase? Sometimes adjectival phrase does not have an adjective in it. It starts with one, a preposition, two, a participle with is the present and past participle, three is an infinitive. Now let's dive into adverb phrases. Oops, Hogwarts sent us another letter again. I think it's another challenge. Who will read it? Yes, Felix. Thank you. Notice that both of the boys use prepositional phrases. Can you spot the difference? Yes, Miss Luna. Exactly. Wrong sentence is different. Why? Very good, Miss Jeannie. Ron used adverb phrase. His phrase described where Neville and his pet toad went out. They went out through the forbidden forest. This prepositional phrase modifies the verb or uh, modifies the phrase went out. Remember that only adverbs modify verbs. So Ron used adjectival phrase. Adverb phrases answer the same questions that adverbs answer which is the wh questions any questions if not let's open another letter from hogwarts for your last challenge i will be the one who will read it you will be rewarded a deathly hallows of your choice equivalent equivalent for 10 points okay time is up exchange your papers one two three very well hogwarts would like to congratulate you all Clap your hands, everybody. Any questions before I'll dismiss you? Okay, no more. That's all. Thank you. That's all for today. See you next meeting. Thank you and God bless. Goodbye, class.